It's the thing about the chemical synapses in your brain. I don't know, sometimes the thing about brain surgery, being a brain surgeon, how does your brain work? It's a very complicated organ. They used to try lobotomies back in the day. Pi ended off with a lobotomy. So, uh, chemical synapses are specialized junctions through which cells of the nervous system signal to one another and to non neuronal cells such as muscles or glands. A chemical synapse between a motor neuron and a muscle cell is called a neuromuscular junction. Chemical synapses allow the neurons of the central nervous system to form interconnected neural circuits. They are thus crucial to the biological computations that underlie perception and thought. They also provide the means through which the nervous system connects to and controls the other systems of the body. The human brain contains a huge number of chemical synapses with young children having about 10,000 trillion <laughs> synapses. So uh, the, the, the young children have 10,000 trillion, 10,000 trillion synapses, 10,000 trillion. And this number declines with age in stabilizing by adulthood. The estimates for adult vary from 1,000 to 5,000 trillion synapses. So it dwindles from 10,000 trillion to 5,000 or to 1,000 trillion. So you have more chemical synapses when you're a baby, when you're a kid, than when you're an adult. Um, so that's important to know. Uh, you know, instead of uh, hitting your kid's head, dad. <laughs> Maybe you should have been reading me a book instead, you fucking prick. Yeah. So, 10,000 trillion synapses in your brain when you're first born. And then it dwindles down to about 5,000, uh, 1,000 trillion when you're about 10 years old. So, when you're a young person, you got way more synapses, more neurotransmitters you could soak and absorb more information and then when you get to be about 10 it starts trimming all that uh, extra no, uh, synapses away they start it's called pruning they prune out so the weak ones uh, die out and the strong ones stay the um, I wanted to read some of my the shit on my Facebook <laughs> this is Louisville Revolutions by the way Louisville Revolutions uh, Assalamu alaikum, Louisville. So I got this sweet-ass picture from Colmar, France. It's got this waterway. It's real colorful with all these houses. That's real colorful. Blue, green, yellow, uh, cloudy sky, but it's blue and it's shining. So you, you can see all these colors just vibrantly. Drew P. Tucker put, don't like or comment on this status no matter what. <laughs> I couldn't. It was hard for me not to, so I shared it instead. I thought it was clever. Bring it, bitches. That's uh, Roseanne Barr. She's uh, there's gonna be a Comedy Central roast with Roseanne Barr. Uh, the Star Spangled Banner. It's coming up. Uh, she has a. She's mocking herself about Star Spangled Banner. I got a picture of Congress where it says their kids go to Harvard and Yale, and our kids go to Afghanistan and jail. So they get to be successful, and we don't. I got my thoughts about love. Number one up, and uh, there's ten of them. I don't know if anybody's going to watch them. I don't really care if they do it's out there if anybody wants to see it I'm not like hiding it uh, it's there but I don't know if anybody would want to see it my reading and education I'm doing online I can summarize it too much better in person or just when I'm just talking off the top of my head because then I'm talking about the ideas that I had got from that event there's a I posted this police taser to 12 year old for crying after he tackled her mother over warrants for traffic tickets, police tasered a 12-year-old for crime. So, um, yeah, in St. Louis, fuck you, St. Louis. In Victoria's Secret, the 12-year-old girl's recovering after being tasered in a St. Louis Victoria's Secrets while police officers are trying to arrest her mother over warrants for traffic tickets. The cops in St. Louis are chasing people to fucking Victoria's Secrets for traffic tickets. That's fucked up. Timothy Thomas in Cincinnati died over traffic tickets. Back off with the fucking traffic tickets. Don't be fucking chasing this to fucking our, you know, Victoria's Secret. So she's trying to be sexy for somebody. Is you ru you, she's trying to do something special for somebody, and you're gonna fuck up her day like that? Some bullshit. And in front of her kid, and then tase the fucking kid. Fuck you, St. Louis. Fucking dickheads. Fucking St. Louis. You fucking Missouri. What's Missouri? It's like worse than uh, Utah. 
in the middle of nowhere. Nobody knows anything about St. Louis. You know what? Kentucky should invade St. Louis. I don't know why we don't. St. Louis and West Virginia. We should take West Virginia over. They wouldn't see us coming because we, we know the hillsides when we got beef with them over the Hatfield McCoy still. So, <laughs> the um, I got a picture of a dog here who fell asleep in a shoe. So, his face is, is in a shoe. So, it's, oh, it's a cute picture of a puppy. <laughs> got a picture of Obama. With all options are on the table. He's got sanctions and embargo and war on the table with uh, cards that say Iran with a cigarette and a badge, U.S. Marshals. All options are on the table, he's saying, so he's uh, carrying on Bush's foreign policy. Here's a powerful picture. Wow, she is, I don't know if she's looking like, what the fuck are you doing taking my picture? Or if she's kind of saying, I know what's happening, I understand what's going on, and I'm going to be strong. And I'm going to be a face for Palestine. See, everybody else's face is covered up in black. You can just see the slits in their eyes, and she's got red on, and her entire face is showing this photo was taken by Palestinian photographer Muhammad Muhisin and is a female anti-government protester during a demonstration demanding the resignation of Yemeni President Ali, Ali Abdullah Saleh in Yemen, April 2011. The courage she shows to stand up for what she believes in is beautiful. Uh, I got a picture of Mitt Romney here saying, just tell me what to say and I will literally say anything that you want. <laughs> Mitt Romney, flip-flopper, he's all over the place. He's for abortion, against abortion. He's against gay marriage, for gay marriage. He don't know what, he, what he's for. He's for rich people getting as much money as possible. I got most of my likes on this self-shot for Facebook. I got a kitten that's giving a self-shot. He's take, It looks like he's taking a picture of himself. Uh -oh. Yeah, I think I already mentioned a couple of these. Oh, yeah, the Vermont. There's a, Somebody got busted for raising marijuana in Vermont. And the the people smashed seven police cars with his tractor. He had a big tractor, and I guess the police cars came up on his farm, and he ran over seven tractor cars and then, like, drove off over the hill and then abandoned the tractor, and then they found him, like, on foot somewhere. So it's interesting. You can run over a police car in Vermont without them running, uh, you know, without them shooting you. That's amazing. That's incredible. Here's a Kentucky man, Daryl Anderson. He says, you know the lies, and I bleed for these lies. I've seen people die for these lies. I've killed for these lies. I've lost a part of me for these lies. So he's speaking out. U.S. veteran exposes the United States military, a Kentucky boy. They're, it's, they're fucking lying, dude. They've been lying to us the whole time. You don't know how lovely you are. Sure, I've made a couple of mistakes, Bush is saying, and he's got two folders. One is domestic policy and one's foreign policy. So those are the couple of mistakes. Those two. Those two little ones. Some people are gay. Get over it. Chick-fil-A, fuck you. Fuck you all. You all want to fucking have a protest in favor of your fucking hatred? You guys are dicks. You guys are fucking dicks. You f White people are such... God, you guys are such dicks. Ugh. Rosa Luxemburg says the leadership can and must be recreated from the masses and out of the masses. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, James Baldwin, I always knew that I am not a nigger, but if I am not the nigger and it is true that your invention reveals you, then who is the nigger? Who's the one who invented the word nigger? You're the nigger, baby. It isn't me. You're the nigger, white America. You're the one who created that shit, you bunch of niggers. <laughs> it's a James Baldwin quote, speaking to white America. Post about Arthur E. Lee. Who posts like he's running for office, but he, he ain't, so he just cares about everybody. Uh, Conan O'Brien introduces Chaz, the intolerant Chick-fil-A chicken. <laughs> um, so here's a uh, Chick-fil-A corporate... Profit supports the Family Research Council. In 2010, FRC spent 25000 lobbying U.S. Congress to not condemn Uganda's Kill the Gays bill. Hate legislati le legislation supported by Chick-fil-A. So Chick-fil-A is uh, funding. Uh, it's okay to kill gays in Uganda bill. So it's not just about a lifestyle. It's about them supporting murderers and bloodshed. And they got um, MSG in their food, MSG which was in Chinese food that makes you sleepy and is unhealthy for you. 
the genius who invented the number zero, thanks for nothing. <laughs> okay, so that was some of uh, Johnny Tsunami's Facebook. <laughs> Johnny Tsunami's Facebook page. What what's he fucking bitching about today? So um, carrying on. Revolution. Revolution. What do we know about brain development? As scientists learn more about how the human brain develops, many of our idea ideas about the brain are being challenged. We are learning that some old ideas actually were myths that are being replaced with new facts and understanding. Consider the following examples. Brain development. Fact or myth? Myth. At birth, the brain is fully developed just like one's heart or stomach. Fact. Most of the brain cells are formed before birth. And most of the connections among cells are made during infancy and early childhood. So your cells are formed before you're born. And then the connections between your brain cells are made during the childhood and infancy. So when you're a toddler and a baby. The brain's development depends entirely on the genes in which you were born. Early experience and interaction with the environment are most critical in a child's brain development. A toddler's brain is less active than the brain of a college student. Myth. In fact, a three-year-old toddler's brain is twice as active as an adult's brain. Myth, talking to a baby is not important because he or she can't understand what you're saying. Fact, talking to young children establishes foundations for learning language during early critical periods when learning is easiest for a child. Myth, children need special help and specific educational toys to develop their brain power. Fact, when children need most is loving care and new experiences, not special attention or costly toys. Talking, singing, playing, and reading are some of the key activity that builds a child's brain. So. Revolution, Louisville. It's time to revolt. It's time to revolt. Margaret Mee said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Frederick Douglass says, those who profess uh, freedom and yet depreciate agitation are people who want crops without plow on the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the roar of its many waters. The struggle may be a moral one or it can be a physical one or maybe both, but it must be a struggle since power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has and it never will. It's all about struggle. My one friend wants to say it will. I don't know what he's talking about. He didn't explain what the fuck he's saying. So I don't know if it's true morality is doing what is good what is right what is fair and just over what anybody else says and obedience is doing what somebody says no matter if it's a good thing or a bad thing morality and obedience are the exact opposite morality and obedience they're the completely different things obedience is doing what somebody tells you regardless if it's good or bad morality is doing what is right doing what is good what is fair and just and not doing what is bad, regardless of what anybody says. They're the exact opposites. Just like corporations and democracy, they are, they're the exact opposites. Corporations, you got the corporate ladder, so there's a strict hierarchy. And democracy is ruled by the people, by the demos, by the shareholders, or the stockholders, or by the customers. And we don't control the corporations. They control themselves. Um... And if there's no regulation, then I guess we're just assuming their greed will help everybody for uh, everybody's gain. Right. <laughs> to surrender to love, you'll need to pay attention to any of your emotions, moods, or thoughts that may might lead you to act in less than loving ways. You may need to surrender pride, a sense of self-importance, the need to have your way to feel superior to or to have power over others. You'll want to let go of those emotions that make you feel less than, inferior, or doubtful of your worth. You'll want to train yourself to think about others in positive ways, even if you feel they have hurt you. You'll want to bring about harmonious conditions through your speech, actions, and thoughts. Orin through Sayana Roman Soul Love. So, Revolt Louisville. Sensitivity is being strong. Why did... You make me such a sensitive soul. I asked to be heartless so I could live in this hard world. But you made me soft and flexible so I can't break myself even in the hardest northerly wind. Paulo Portan Corva. Viva la revolucion, Louisville. Occupy forever. <laughs>